Hey folks, so today we'll uh, talk about the personal knowledge graph and uh, instruments uh, that nowadays uh, you could uh, use for this. So uh, we will mainly focus on the Obsidian and LongSQ because that's uh, accessible for other people and you don't need to be the crazy data scientists. So what the personal knowledge graph mean? So the personal knowledge graph, it's a couple of the different definitions. Somebody say that it's the graph um, of data about the user. And somebody say that it's a graph of data actually that matter for user. But the main um, thing that uh, the center of the graph actually it's you. And the personal knowledge graphs, uh, they are really useful for the personalization and use it by the big tech everywhere. So if you go to the Google search, Google search build a personal knowledge graph about your search. Uh, if you use medical insurance, uh, for sure they have the personal knowledge graph about you, your diseases and all other things. And actually a lot of insurance companies use it and so on and so forth. And um, so it's a lot of uh, different ways how we could construct the personal knowledge graph and um, get the benefit of it. Uh, so, so for example, we could uh, have more generic uh, general graph like the Wikipedia uh, graph or some other graphs, but uh, we just create the sub subset of the knowledge that uh, really relevant to you and combine it with the data about you. But uh, how the knowledge graph actually could help us? First of all, you know, uh, we fighting with the entropy of the information and with the problem that every time when you try to organize your knowledge, it's <laughs> turned to uh, the huge uh, bunch of the notes that you're not able to manage, you're not able to find, uh, you do not see how they contribute to each other and actually it's turned to something that uh, completely disaster and unmanageable in a combination of the fragmentation of the information that the different files uh, lives in the different applications has turned on the nightmare. So in a big tech, the personal knowledge graphs and knowledge graphs used uh, to normalize and connect together the heterogeneous data. So the data that live in a different data sources in a different <coughs> data system and combine them together and make them searchable. So we could apply the same superpower of the big tech uh, to your own knowledge. So the most popular uh, frameworks that allow us to build something similar and quite close to the personal knowledge graphs actually is the Zettelkasten. And maybe you read a lot about this and the idea of the Zettelkasten is quite simple that you have the granular ideas, you have the uh, completely different types of nodes but all these notes just differ in a stage of the summarization. And the most important thing that turn actually the note taken and note taken up to the knowledge graphs that you create the links uh, between the notes. And actually it's the main benefit and uh, uh, we get uh, the first application that uh, really gets the benefits of the links. As a Wikipedia pages, by the way, and the local Wikipedias, but uh, it was not so popular. And uh, Roam Research actually reborn this idea uh, with the idea of the links and backlinks and the graphs of the nodes. And then uh, all these applications that you low, like the Obsidian and the LogSQ appear. So we will not go uh, deep to the comparison of the Obsidian and LogSQ because um, it's a topic for the separate video. <coughs> but what you have um, to build an effective personal knowledge graph. First of all, you have a nodes that represents the entities. You have the links between the nodes that uh, are ages. And it's super cool. And unfortunately, it's uh, almost impossible right now in Obsidian to create the <coughs> uh, links with the captions and the metadata, but I will explain the later um, how we actually could achieve it, uh, at least with Obsidian. And uh, together with the nodes and uh, edges, we have the metadata or the attributes and uh, attributes are well covered by the tags and the different kind of meta information and YAML uh, islands in Obsidian quite well. Uh, for links, unfortunately, it's not feasible. I made the proposal to the Obsidian community to add the metadata to the links, uh, but unfortunately we're not there. 
And uh, together with the attributes and metadata, the last piece is the ontologist and hierarchical things that allows you to categorize and do the meaning on top of your uh, personal knowledge graph. Unfortunately, the ontology uh, part is not covered and uh, it's uh, partially achievable with the log CQ and log CQ have quite a general ontology that utilize the properties for the blocks and utilize the property for the pages, but it's extremely, extremely complex and uh, maybe it's not so straightforward to use. So we will not go to this, but ontologies help us to structure knowledge and even build some layer of the structure on top. So uh, what the benefit of the personal knowledge graph you will get that uh, you will uh, see the connections that not exist. You could boost your productivity and creativity and find something new with the ideas that, you know, change the context, change the frame. And actually it's quite creativity uh, focused process when you just uh, play with the graph and uh, discover the notes. So it's uh, really cool. So what kind of instruments we could uh, use to make the obsidian closer to the, the personal knowledge graph uh, system. So it's a uh, really cool, the graph uh, typed links. So you will get the possibility to um, put the names and the labels to the graph connections. And you will see not just uh, arrow, but you will see the arrow with some meaning. So it will already make us quite close. Another project that uh, works around uh, the same uh, things. It's the uh, juggle. Uh, so it's the custom view of the graph. It's super cool. You could customize, you could apply a lot of styles and you could really make your graph uh, colorful and more closer to super complex uh, concept map. I really like it. And the next one is the Excel brain and Excel brain focus more on the uh, local graphs, but it could be the general graph, but it's have his own uh, visual ontology that allows you to map his own visual ontology to your own ontology. So it's a bit complex, it's a bit limited, and it's more focused how you render the graph on the pages, and it's not always feasible with your knowledge and your domain, but it's a super cool project. I really recommend to use these tools. Uh, but, you know, we're still uh, not there with the personal knowledge graphs uh, because you get some tooling that allows you to create the labels. You get some tooling that maybe allows you to put you some metadata on the nodes with the log CQ. You don't have such rich tools for the type of ages, but you have quite rich tools for the metadata and full scale database. But how we could improve all the things and how the future could look like, actually. So I deeply believe that um, the personal knowledge graphs is something that is quite complex for user uh, to maintain. And I deeply believe that even with the graphs of the nodes, you anyway need the semantic graph of the entities because your nodes, uh, they already big uh, and they could and code multiple entities and multiple relations. So in practice, we need the combination of the node uh, personal knowledge graphs and the semantic knowledge graph, or some kind of the hyper graph that every node could have their own graphs that somehow connected together. And uh, unfortunately, we don't have such tools, but what we uh, have right now is the project that I'm actively working on, uh, so it's the personal assistant that focus on the privacy uh, kin and uh, you could register on mykin.com that we build in the personal knowledge graph for you. So we build in the personal knowledge graph for you just out of your conversations and we use the superpower of the artificial intelligence and special graph oriented models that analyze your messages and analyze your notes, then extract the entities out of the uh, uh, notes and then uh, uh, work with your graph to create the enrichment of your graph. And at the end of your conversations, you have the semantic memory 
that knows a lot about you and what's more important it's condensed to, to the entities and you will be impressed that you know you have some uh, areas that you talk quite often and you have some uh, well connected uh, entities and less connected entities so you will see a lot of interesting insights just out of the uh, personal knowledge graph so i believe that uh, the future of the personal knowledge graphs are really about the help of the artificial intelligence to maintain them and uh, for your personal knowledge management i believe that you need to kind of graph one is actually that focus on the semantic entities and relation between the semantic entities and another one that really works like the settle custom that organize your notes and organize your life so i really believe that in a next uh, couple of years we will have a lot of tools that uh, will combine the personal knowledge graphs together with the artificial intelligence but you already could try this future with uh, kin uh, so register and uh, let me know what you think so that was all but if you're still uh, quite a big fan of the obsidian then you could try to build your personal knowledge graph uh, just with obsidian and maybe combine it with some uh, local LLM models maybe we will talk about this stuff later subscribe to my channel uh, follow me on the social uh, media and medium so don't miss my articles choose